Mobile's OS has just dropped its another new update of February 2023 security update. As in previous build, this Lineage OS is running on latest version of Android 13. And in this video, I will look inside this Lineage OS and show its new features, changes, and customizations. So let's start the video. As you can see in its about phone settings, this is the unofficial build of Lineage OS. The build date is of February 26, 2023, which is the latest build available right now. And if you look at its Android and vendor security update, you will find the latest date, which is of February 5, 2023 and running on latest Android 13. And talking about its camera, it has MI camera and everything inside this camera is working fine, including 48 megapixel camera. And in previous version of Lineage OS, it has aperture camera present. Now moving towards phone dialer, it does not have auto call recording feature and you may receive recording announcement while doing call record. And if you look at the applications, it has very few apps pre-installed and this ROM gives super smooth experience and I'm not facing any lags or slowdowns and you can see the app opening and closing speed that this room provides tell me in the comments how's the app opening and closing speed and if you look at its launcher it has its trebuchet launcher and from its recent app section you can use split top free form screenshot and clear all features but you cannot do more edits on the recent quick actions however from its home setting you can use this hidden and protected apps feature which is available in this room and in its wallpapers and styles there is no any changes compared to its previous version you will get same old features like dark theme themed icons and app grid and this app grid has up to 6 into 6 sized grid and this is how quick setting panel looks like which has auto brightness toggle present along with brightness slider and talking about tiles it does not come with many tiles but it has some necessary tiles like scan qr code extra dim usb tethering and one handed mode etc but this scan qr code tile is not working moving towards its setting section it has same private dns present and like in its previous build it does not come with custom dns options and in its app setting you can see recently opened apps list and game space feature is not present here and in its battery settings also there is no any changes it has options like battery uses battery saver battery manager and battery light and inside its battery saver there is no extreme battery saver option present Moving towards display, you will get adaptive brightness with dark theme feature and this dark theme has pure black theme present. And talking about security, there is only fingerprint option present and face unlock feature is still not present in this Lineage OS. And if you look at its encryption status, it is encrypted. And from its system setting, you will find buttons options from where you can enable features like long press for torch. And if you scroll down, you will find other features like show volume panel on left, which will change the location of volume panel from right to left side. And at last on button, there is a click to partial screenshots present which will allow us to take partial screenshots and also in system settings system profiles option is present and from its status bar setting you can enable quick pull down option and other features like clock position so seconds auto hide clock and other basic battery indicator and brightness setting present and from its gesture settings you can enable this quickly open camera feature which will open camera just by pressing power button twice and this feature works even on lock screen mode and other than this it has other options like system navigation one-handed mode press and hold power button for power menu and digital assistant and prevent ringing feature and also you will get Xiaomi parts option which has some features like MI sound enhancer, clear speaker, display color calibration, LCD features, ambient display gestures and vibration control. This does not come with Google Play support and I tried installing with Orange Fox Recovery and flashed G apps and firmware file also but this caused me an error on Google applications like Play Store, Google Photos etc. So then I again flashed this ROM using its own Linux recovery then everything worked fine. 
So while installing, make sure to install through its official lineage recovery. After installing Google application, I checked on Play Protect certification and it is not certified and its previous unofficial version also device was not certified. And if you look at Google Photos storage and it gives us unlimited Google Photos and Video storage spoofing. So this is all about this latest unofficial Lineage OS 20.0 and in this video, I have covered almost all the major things related to this ROM. So what do you think about this ROM? You can share your thoughts and experience on comment section below. Thank you so much for watching this video and if you liked my video, then don't forget to hit the like button, comment down below and share this video. Also subscribe to Cracks and hit the notification bell. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.